Hello people, in this video we want to look at clonidine. Clonidine is actually coming under this chapter antihypertensive, right? So basically in antihypertensive you have so many types of drugs in that one of them is sympathetic inhibitors. In that under central sympatholytics you have clonidine and methyl dopa. So clonidine and methyl dopa are what? They are sympatholytics. They are central sympatholytics and uh, they work on the central nervous system. Otherwise, you have so many other sympathetic inhibitors like alpha blockers, beta blockers, etc. Okay. So here we are discussing something that works on the central nervous system. Example, clonidine. The other example is methyl dopa. Okay. So it is uh, an antihypertensive drug. We are looking at antihypertensive drug. In this clonidine and all, uh, now it is just third or fourth choice. Okay. It is not used that much. Anyways, for exam, this clonidine is quite important, so pay attention here. Chemically, this clonidine is an imidazoline derivative, okay, it is an imidazoline derivative. It's an alpha-2 agonist, so it is going to bind happily to the sympathetic uh, receptor, but this receptor itself is an inhibitory receptor alpha-2, right? So this drug becomes a central sympatholytic, so it is going to stimulate the alpha-2A uh, receptors which are present in the medulla. The medulla here, right, in the central nervous system, the medulla, it is going to bind here uh, to the alpha 2 receptors, vasomotor center it is going to bind. So it has more central action than peripheral action. That's what you have to remember here. It has more central action than peripheral action. So it is going to be a central sympatholytic. So it will result in decreased sympathetic outflow. There will be more vagal tone, that is more parasympathetic tone. So there will be fall in blood pressure and bradycardia also will be there. So less blood pressure, high uh, so it will become, uh, it will take it to less BP and bradycardia means less heart rate, okay. So basically it has more central action than peripheral action. So there is absolutely no need for you to know where exactly this receptors are in peripherally etc. Because it is working only centrally, okay. So that was an introduction to clonidine guys. How are you feeling now? So far so good. In clonidine, what and all you have seen that it is a central sympatholytic. It will increase vagal tone. It will uh, reduce blood pressure and also cause bradycardia. Okay. It will uh, in, uh, reduce the noradrenaline or norepinephrine uh, levels in the plasma. Obviously, it is a sympatholytic, right? <coughs> then we are moving on to how clonidine is available. Clonidine is available as uh, oral. It is also available as transdermal uh, form. Okay, it crosses blood brain barrier obviously because it is a central sympatholytic, it works on the central nervous system, you know that it is excreted unchanged in urine, it has a short duration of action. And guys, how is it going now? Clonidine is given how? Orally, transdermal patches are also there and it crosses blood brain barrier, something that is important, right? Now, what are the uses of clonidine? Clonidine is actually an antihypertensive drug, but it is not used that much now. Okay, it is occasionally used in combination with a diuretic. Otherwise, it is not used because it has a lot of withdrawal hypertension. Okay, there is a risk of withdrawal hypertension, right? And uh, some people develop tolerance also. Okay, so it has been reduced to a third or fourth choice only drug of hypertension. Okay, it is occasionally used with diuretic. Guys, pay attention here. It is only occasionally used with diuretic. It's the third or fourth choice. There's a lot of withdrawal hypertension will be there. The people will develop tolerance, etc. So basically, antihypertensive, it's a very low choice. Okay. Then moving on to opioid withdrawal. It can be used to treat opioid withdrawal. So whenever there is opioid withdrawal, what will happen? There will be sympathetic overactivity. Okay. So obviously you can think whenever there is op op opioid withdrawal, there is sympathetic overactivity means definitely you can give clonidine, correct? Clonidine uh, also in alcohol withdrawal on, and smoking cessation also it can be used. Opioid withdrawal in alcohol withdrawal, smoking cessation. So in all these things you can use clonidine because this it will curb the sym sympathetic overactivity obviously. What about analgesic? So basically it has analgesic activity. So it is used as a substitute to morphine uh, for uh, intrathecal epidural surgical and post-operative analgia. Interesting, right? So it is used for um, surgery and post-operative also. So basically as a alternative 
to morphine it can be used okay for for intrathecal epidural surgery and post operative analgesia also you can use interesting right it's an alternative alternative to morphine post operative analgesic okay you can use what about menopause basically in menopause uh, it uh, clonidine attenuates vasomotor symptoms of menopausal syndrome okay so in menopause what will happen there will be lot of vasomotor symptoms what do you mean by vasomotor symptoms so that can be curbed because anyways it is suppressing this only right like hot flushes right so all that will get reduced hot flushes so all this will these symptoms will get reduced to treat these symptoms you can use clonidine you can use it to control loose motions in diabetic neuropathy neuropathy okay so what about it has been told clonidine has been used to control loose motions due to diabetic neuropathy it may be acting on alpha 2 receptor mediated enhancement of salt absorption and gut mucosa okay so that was about uh, the uses of clonidine now let us move on guys we are done with the uses of clonidine let's move on adverse uh, effects of uh, clonidine guys just pay attention here to the adverse effects of clonidine basically you have to write sedation because it is a central sympatholytic right so definitely you can write sedation mental depression disturbed sleep you can write all this right won't you be able to write all this definitely definitely you will write postural hypotension because the hypotension it is definitely uh, reducing the blood pressure and you know it is also reducing the uh, heart rate so bradycardia will be there okay this much you remember now coming to withdrawal syndrome if the person misses clonidine uh, for just the dose for 1 to 2 days then what happens there will be alarming rise in blood pressure this is called as withdrawal hyper tension you can see here actually what happens the blood pressure will become more than what it was before alarming rise in blood pressure in excess of the pre treatment level so even more than the pre uh, the pre treatment level whatever the blood pressure was even more than that it will go actually it can cause even hypertensive emergencies urgencies and emergencies because you remember in our hypertensive uh, urgencies and emergencies uh, we have seen the causes right in the causes you remember clonidine withdrawal was there so it can lead to hypertensive urgency emergency okay so remember that clonidine if missed for 1 to 2 days can cause uh, withdrawal hypertension syndrome alarming rise in blood pressure alarming rise in blood pressure okay and this syndrome is very similar to what you see in pheochromocytoma even pheochromocytoma this hypertension right which can lead to hypertensive uh, emergency similarly even in this case actually the thing is catecholamines will increase catecholamines concentration is increased the plasma uh, catecholamine concentration increases when clonidine is missed guys did you understand once clonidine this person is not taking the catecholamine levels become so high just like in pheochromocytoma where catecholamines are more just like that catecholamines become so much and that leads to the uh, hypertensive urgency or emergency so this is due to why they are explaining why the catecholamines are uh, increasing sudden removal of central sympathetic inhibition leads to the release of large quantities of stored catecholamines so as soon as this uh, see symp sympathetic system was getting inhibited 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 now suddenly you are removing this inhibition so a lot of catecholamines get released from their storage spaces okay now the alpha receptors are very sensitive and so many catecholamines so definitely a lot of uh, withdrawal hypertension will release okay now what is the treatment for this a uh, combination uh, uh, with a beta blocker so you can give beta blocker for this treatment like lebetalol then you can give vasodilator like uh, nitroprusside sodium nitroprusside can be given iv okay iv sodium nitroprusside clonidine itself can be used to treat the syndrome that's interesting right so this person can give clonidine to himself he only missed clonidine then he only will give clonidine and treat his symptoms so guys moving on to the interactions of clonidine if you are giving it along with tcas that is tricyclic antidepressants or uh, clopromazine then what happens uh, they will not allow clonidine to act 
okay tricyclic antidepressants and uh, chlorpromazine abolish action of clonidine because they seem to work on the same receptors so that's all guys in clonidine we are done with this uh, beautiful topic clonidine antihypertensive chapter so we looked at it it can be given orally or transdermal patch it is given actually along with diuretics nowadays if it has to be given it is a central sympatholytic it is a sympathetic inhibitor so basically it is an imidazoline derivative alpha 2 agonist it is a central sympatholytic it works on the medulla the vasomotor center of the medulla it uh, decreases sympathetic outflow so it can lead to fall in blood pressure and bradycardia so that is what we want right fall in blood pressure is what we want it works more centrally than peripherally the noradrenaline levels in the plasma decreases there will be more vagal tone clonidine is available oral transdermal patch it crosses blood brain barrier it's excreted unchanged in urine the uses of clonidine antihypertensive third or fourth choice only otherwise it is used in combination with a diuretic because it has lot of withdrawal hypertension and tolerance uh, it is used to treat opioid withdrawal uh, alcohol withdrawal smoking cessation it is used as an analgesic post operative analgesia it is alternate to morphine it can be used to treat menopause symptoms uh, which are like hot flushes it can be used to treat loose motions because of diabetic neuropathy okay adverse effects of clonidine guys uh, sedation don't forget bradycardia postural hypertension can occur but it is mostly asymptomatic they are saying withdrawal hypertension syndrome withdrawal hypertension syndrome alarming rise in blood pressure because of increased catecholamines if uh, clonidine is missed for 1 to 2 days then the receptors are very sensitive and there are so many catecholamines released from their storage spaces to treat this withdrawal hypertension you can give a beta blocker sodium nitroprusside or clonidine okay itself clonidine to treat clonidine withdrawal interactions tricyclic antidepressants and chlorpromazine abolish the action of clonidine that is all that we had to tell you in this beautiful video of clonidine bye bye